Hello, my friends. A very good morning. May God bless all of you, your respective family members, neighbors, and wherever you go, may you be the witness, the living witness of the Lord Jesus Christ. May you be that person whom with your behavior, in your way of being, of speaking, of dressing, in your conduct, God may be glorified. In fact, it's worth mentioning that many people, unfortunately, have not reached the mercy of God, not because God is limited in His mercy, no, but it is because they are people who unfortunately do not want to sacrifice. They don't want to assume their faith in the Lord Jesus. There are only two types of people in this world, those who are of God and those who are not. Those who are of God, you acknowledge, you recognize. Because of their character, their way of being, they walk in truth, they live in truth. They suffer because of the truth. They suffer because of love, etc. So you know, you see that the person is different from the others. And those who are not of God, I don't need to speak because everybody already knows. But look at what the Apostle Paul says here. Now, this I say, brethren, he's speaking to those who believe in the Lord Jesus. He is speaking, he is talking to, he is teaching to those who are brothers, brethren. Now I say this, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, nor does corruption inherit in corruption. Then those people come and say, Oh, but God is love. God in the last moment will forgive me. I live by the grace of God. And they think, people who think that the grace of God tolerates sin, corruption, another unworthy life. So if this is true, so it's pointless for Jesus to come to this world. It was pointless. Because people say, oh, I can sin now and tomorrow or later. I'll go there to the church. I'll fulfill my vows. And then I solve my problems. It's not like this, my friend. You have to have the image of God. You have to be the perfume of the Lord Jesus Christ. In your manner of behaving, in your conduct, in your house, firstly with your family. Your behavior at home. Everyone needs to give a testimony, needs to be a witness that you are of God. So, is it demanding much from us? No, it's not. It's to demand what is right, what is fair, what is upright. So, a person who lives in that faith, which is fake, a fraud, saying that the grace of God is sufficient, they think that walking in corruption, they will inherit in corruption. Here it says with much clarity, flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, nor does corruption inherit, nor does corruption inherit in corruption. It's not possible. It cannot. God is justice. God is just. And for being just, He does not tolerate injustice. He hates injustice. Some think that God 
is tolerant because it is written that God is love. Yes, God is love. Yes, it's true. But what kind of love do you think God is? Is it like ours? The love which we profess to each other? Love which even kills? No, my friend. God is love. Yes, He is. Yes, God is love. But He is a love which is subject to righteousness, to His righteousness. He cannot love and override justice. He cannot love and be unjust. How can a person, if it were like this, Jesus would not speak of the angels of the seven churches of Revelation. So, I don't want to convince anyone to be loyal or faithful or holy or pure. I just want you to know that it is pointless for you to have biblical knowledge and live a life contrary to this knowledge. Is it not true? A question which I ask you. Imagine you marrying the person you love. You love that person. But that person behind closed curtains betrays you with someone else. Would you accept this? Would you submit yourself to this kind of love? No, you wouldn't. You would not want it. Although loving, you would sincerely, you would leave that person behind. The same thing with God. Do you think that God will tolerate your wrong actions, the unjust, the, the injustices, the lies, the deceit, the robbery and theft and prostitution and all sorts of sin? No, my friend. That's why the Holy Spirit through Paul does not leave any room for anyone to be deceived. He said, Now this I say, brethren. Paul is speaking to the believers, to those who say believe in the Lord Jesus, the church. Now I say this, brethren that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, nor does corruption inherit incorruption, meaning not even injustice can inherit justice. That's it. There are only two types of people, either you're one or the other. I am one or the other. That is why we are working strongly every Wednesday and Sunday at night especially about the soul. We work for the soul. Sunday, 6 p.m. We are conducting a mini vigil for the souls. And Wednesday we are in that campaign of the night of the soul. Pay us a visit if you are willing to save your soul because it is eternal. The body remains but the soul is, inter is eternal. Where will your soul live? Where will your soul live? Right? God bless you. And until tomorrow, in the name of the Lord Jesus, Amen.